Yeah. So I think so. I think that's a good point because I was going to say the the one thing that I'm a little uh, nervous about when it comes to female rap is that there kind of only seems to be one type of female rap, or like one genre that's acceptable. It comes in different sounds, but it's basically what niggas was calling like city girls rap up until recently because they flopped and they're not really making noise now. So now it's just ratchet rap, I guess, or sexy red rap or whatever. But there's like a lot of that in the hip hop space. So it's like, where's the room for the Jean Grays and the Rhapsodies and, you know, your people like that. It's like, that I feel like is going to really solidify it because the last like time where, you know, female rap had numbers and it was strong like that, everything was covered. You know what I'm saying? You had Yo-Yo who was like kind of like your West Coast conscious chick. You had MC Light who was um, sort of on some street shit for a girl. You know what I mean? Then you had Queen Latifah, obviously. Then you had Moni Love. You know what I mean? Then you had Lil' Kim. Then you had Foxy and all of them brought something different to the table. You know, they were all totally different artists. So I feel like it's good that women have the numbers right now, but now they have to start doing things to differentiate themselves from each other um, in order to have longevity. So I, I think hopefully we'll see, you know, some uh, some different characters you know, from a lot of these, women, you know, in uh, 2024. I totally agree. And I'm so glad that you said that, Shane, because my pick for somebody or artist that you guys should be looking out for in 24 has to go to two artists named Caribou and the other one's named Anicia. So they're both female rappers. They both fuck with each other heavy. They have a couple songs together, but even individually, they are just so dope, so different when it comes to like the sound that's out now for female rappers. Um, kind of leading into what Shane was saying, like they definitely have that West Coast conscious vibe to it. Don't get me wrong, they'll talk about, you know, uh, pulling up and, you know, shooting shit, but it's never, it's nothing that's like actively violent. It's it's on some like, um, they're threatening you, but they've been smoking all day. So it's like, uh, you know, like the, they're real vibey with it. They're really laid back. So for Caribou, she's more of a tomboy. She gives uh, Wiz Khalifa vibes. Um, she's like girl next door, you know, like she, she's real chill. She's hanging out with the dudes. Anicia is giving more of Ruby Rose vibes, especially with like, not exactly the look. She definitely gives like pretty girl, but in the look, but her voice is just got so much character. I love when people have unique voices like hers. So you really want to listen to what she has to say. And she actually talks some real shit. She kind of reminds me of Currency. If you guys are a fan of his, you might like her. If you're a fan of Larry June, you might like both of them. Um, just because um, they, they're they definitely West Coast, you know, but, but they have that really cool confidence about them that I really love listening to, especially coming from women. Um, another thing about Anicia, I also liked her because one of the songs that I found her um, I think, it, I can't remember what the hell the song is called. I'll, I'll double check it in a second. But the song that I found her off of, it reminded me of a song that if Sexy Red matures, like if she decides, okay, I'm going to talk ratchet, but I want to be like a little bit more chilled out, a little bit more relaxed with it, she would go this direction. The only thing is, is that she does not have Anicia's voice. And that is, is going to be a huge difference. And Anicia comes with the bars. So if you like Sexy Red, but you're like, I can't be blasting her every day because people don't look at me crazy or, you know, or like, I just can't be that hype all the time. Pop in Amicia. She's going to have you set, then put some caribou on. And you're going to be, you're going to have a really chill, nice ass vibe, nice ass drive. So those are definitely the two artists for me that you have to look out for because they are what female rap needs right now, in my opinion. You pointed out a couple of things that makes me want to check them out. Um, you said they remind you of Wiz and Currency. Yes. Which, I mean, I love both those guys. So, I mean, that, that like, if they're girls that sound like that, then I'm that automatically intrigues me. Um, you said that 
if Sexy Red wanted to make a more mature sounding song, it would sound like this, but the girl's voice doesn't sound like that. So that makes me intrigued to sound or to hear what they sound like too. Yes. Not only how they rap, but what they sound like too. So yeah. I'm I'm very intrigued to check both of them out collectively. Also, the fact that they're a duo that also intrigues me. So yeah, well, definitely they're actually check them they're out. not a duo. They actually um, are their own separate artists, but they have a couple mm. songs together. Like they fuck with each other that heavy that I wouldn't be surprised if eventually they do like a, a collaboration album, like. Two Chains and Wayne, you know, like they definitely have their own lanes, they have their own style, but it's just, so, it's it's kind of like they're similar on the West Coast conscious shit because you could listen to like a playlist with just their music and not have to be like, oh, this, this is just too jarring. This is like not the same. Right. Topic, you, know? you probably so, said it best, their girl weighs in currency. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Are. And that's like, that's, that was like the only people that I could think of, but honestly, like it's like the perfect description. And once you guys, hear them you'll see like oh no she's not lying like this sounds like ruby rose and sexy red but like currency currency's brain like you're i think you're really going to be pleasantly surprised and i i hope that they have a terrific 24 i hope that they have the same type of success that larry june is seeing now Definitely. well i i'm actually glad you said that too because on the duo thing they if they with them not running as a duo Wiz and Currency technically don't run as a duo that's either. Not, yeah, that's why they I have yeah. they have collab projects together. Exactly, but they don't run as a duo. They're, exactly, their own people. Yep. So if they're in the same lane, then yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. like bring, uh, yeah, again, very very excited to hear them. So yeah, yeah. just wanted to clear that up. But yeah, yeah. Well, I, but I, I, I was literally thinking of you, Eric. I was like, I swear to God, if Eric says these two people, <laughs> as his, <laughs> look out, I'm gonna be this. <laughs> So I'm glad that I brought something new to the to the table for you guys. So yeah, and I think Shane, you're really gonna fuck with Anisia. I really think I'm you check are. it out. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, I'm excited to check them out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check, check it out. out. So. But yeah, in addition to you know everybody that you all mentioned, you know what I mean. I just want to say that I believe that uh, not only will the bar exam, but Ethos Media Network as a whole will have a great 2024 going forward. 